Okay, so this is a problem that I think is it's a good one because it's pretty complex and it's a good example to practice as you get ready for um, questions like this. So they tell us that ninth graders need to purchase a park permit for $250. So to, to access the park and use it for whatever, they have to pay $250. But, but you know, they can tell where this is going, they clearly want to make that money back. So the ninth graders who attend, um, they get 75 cents per plate. So for ninth graders, it's 0.75 per person X. Guests, however, are different. If the guests will probably pay more, right? Guests will pay a dollar twenty-five per guest, right? All right, G for guest. So, if two hundred ninth graders attend, which inequality can be used to determine the number of guests needed to cover the cost of the permits? So they use instead of G for guest, they use X. So it's one point two five times X. Okay. So notice that all these, the, the left-hand side is greater than or equal to 250. That means that the amount of money you make should be greater than the, than the cost of the permit, which was 250. So here, I would actually use either choice 3 or 4 because we're looking to see now how many ninth graders need to attend. attend. We're not looking for 0.75x. That would tell us how many ninth graders are attending. In fact, we're told how many ninth graders are attending, which is 200. So both choices here, they, they take 200 and multiply by 0.75 because they want to know how much money they've already made and how much is left, right? So here, you're going to add 1.25x because that's saying, well, we have 0.75, that's 75 cents, times 200, the number of ninth graders. How much more will we get um, right, per guest so that the total is greater than or equal to 250? If you find X here, you'll find how many guests you'll need. So that's choice four. All right, hope this helped.